Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is a debut day. It is a day of firsts. And um, also wanna point out, little alert, for those of you looking for a tropical, bright, neon-esque, colorful sunset look, this is not the video for you. I'm sorry, this is going to probably remind you more of late summer, Indian summer, fall, early fall, but I can't help it. Just the color scheme that I was kind of feeling and going with today. But without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, today I want to focus on the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I'm sure you guys are seeing it. It's, it's rotating now on YouTube. It's been on Instagram. If you watch the Life with Huda, <laughs> Huda Beauty TV show, you guys know that this has been a big part of what they've been talking about and working on. This is what drove Huda to her exhaustion point. Um, so I had to get my hands on it and give it a whirl. And I picked up the color Cupcake. And um, basically it's a loose baking and setting powder, keeps makeup in place place absorbs shine no flashback so um, I've heard some mixed things but overall some really positive reviews and I'm curious to try it and I also whipped out my toasted coconut Huda Beauty faux filter and I'm gonna mix a little cover effects in here just because I really love my color effects and I feel like again it's just one of those delicious perfect mix in type of foundations so we're going to be doing that for our overall face today and then of course working with some huda palettes here just to kind of coincide with the theme of today's look and um yeah let's get into it i'm gonna start priming with a mixture of laura mercier's blemishless and radiance primers just to kind of cover the um, whole aspect of pores and as well as giving us a beautiful glow. And Huda's foundation, even though it's a mixture of like a hydrating matte, it still tends to be a little slick on me throughout the day. So putting in that little blemish primer, working with oil-free products, it's a great way to prep. Always gotta put a little plumpero on my lips. I love the smell of the Huda Beauty foundation. I know some people like just absolutely hate it, but I love it. I think it smells so yummy, so bougie. I love it. Something tells me Mona might have had something to do with the scent of this foundation because if you watch the show, you guys, oh my God, did you see Girlfriend's perfume cabinet? Like, I've never been jealous until seeing that. She has cabinet hold on rewind let me take that back she has a whole freaking closet walk-in closet bedroom of perfume girl is serious about her stuff and I would just love to walk in there just spray a bunch of stuff walk around smell everything I have like a tiny little shelf you guys if that a makeshift shelf okay and miss mona has like a whole room dedicated to perfume to live like the other side for a day you guys oh my god i'm gonna finish it off now with a brand new beauty blender pick this up i love when they have the little sets and you get you know like the cleanser and the beauty blender because you get better deals usually that way and I am all about a good bargain. Mama needs some beauty rest. I feel like I don't ever rest enough. That and the fact that, you know, we'll watch like a Netflix series a night pretty much. And uh, it's so hard to just stop, you know? Like, gosh, they're gonna be having 12 steps for Netflix shows and TV soon because it's ridiculous, guys, I swear. I'm gonna go in with my Kylie concealer. But yeah, like seriously, I will get so hooked on certain shows 
and then I just can't turn off the friggin' TV. It'll be like 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock, and I'm just like, one more, one more, I can do it. I like a good dampened beauty blender. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I get more out of it when it's got a little bit more moisture to it. I am a spendaholic when it comes to cosmetics, but I work for my monies. And I actually, like, I'm just like everybody else. I join a lot of different promotional things where you can get different samples. Um, you know, you can join your Ulta Beauty Rewards, your Sephora, all the different department stores. And I just rake them up and I wait till they have a lot of the different sales and stuff. And then I go crazy. All right, you guys. So I have blended concealer with my foundation, I think. I think I got it all in. Let's just do a little double checkeroo. All right. Just come in really quickly around my eyes. And let's get to the moment of truth. I'm so excited about this powder. And I have no idea how to open this package. Hold on. I like how it opens up like this, little surprise package here. It says, baking made easy. Dip dense brush or beauty sponge into powder net. Pack a generous layer under the eye from the corners through the temples, T-zone, outer corners of the mouth and chin. Let powder bake for three to five minutes while applying the rest of your makeup. Use a fluffy brush to gently dust away the excess powder. Okay. So pretty self-explanatory. I love how it's um, in here you have like freshly baked. It's cute. It's cute. All right. So I love it too. They show you a little Huda person here. Little bougie girl here. And they show her baking and kind of the um, areas that she would use the powder in. So I think that's really great for people that don't know too much. Um, it's shaped like the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. I like that. It's a great size and there's a little thing here that you have to pick up so oh, oh. okay <laughs> so the netting is like similar to the Tarte Amazonian clay and I personally love that powder um, I love the net idea so you don't have to like dump it all the time into the cap I like that you can just kind of push your brush or your sponge into it, but basically with that netting, you can take any sponge you're gonna use and just kind of dunk it into it. But because there's quite a bit of product in there already, I'm going to just use what I have in here first. Grab a mirror. Check for any creasing and let's get to bacon, honey. Oh my God, it smells like the foundation. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, oh, pigmented, honey. So to me, it has the texture and feel of like the Laura Mercier, but you can definitely see the color. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I have like powder everywhere. Okay, so it's a little bit messy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little messy, but it's because um, probably from traveling to me, there was a lot of powder everywhere. Once you get that addition, that initial, excuse me, powder out of the netting, you're fine. It's actually not bad at all. But initially going in was like, I literally put my sponge in and it was like poof, everywhere. But, oh my gosh, I love the smell, you guys. And if you hate the smell, I'm so sorry, but I love it. And it's amazing. And it is, um, like they said, very finely milled. Because coming in, I'm like, wow. It's already, like, melting into my skin. That's crazy. But I like it a lot. The only question I have though, is I know this is designed for baking. So say you are the type that's crazy like me and has to put powder everywhere. Is it translucent enough that you can go around the neck and set those areas, like the areas you don't wanna brighten, 
you know that that was my issue with the um, Maybelline fit me was I loved that it had this tint to it I love that it gave you additional coverage plus setting but because oh my gosh you guys I'm like covered in powder because of that tint though when you go and use it all over the face it can make the rest of your face appear very light. So that's my only thing. I wanna see how this is going to work. But so far, I like it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is pick up my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and going into the color Desert Sand, I'm gonna take that all over my lid and my brow bone. Next, I'm going to take the color Eden and Amber and mix the two together on that same 812 and work that into my crease. Now picking up another um, brush, let's kind of drop down for a minute into a Sigma E40. I'm gonna go into the color blazing and just kind of warm up the crease a little more, give it a little bit more orange. Now with the Morphe M441, I'm gonna go into the color saffron and we're gonna work that deeper into our crease. also work that on the outside corner. Then to further emphasize the crease, I'm going to go into that color Oud, which is that really rich dark brown, and we're going to take that on a Morphe 514 and start from the outside corner and just kind of work it right into the outside V and then bring it all the way down into the crease. Now taking a BH Cosmetics brush, this is a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go back into Eden just by itself and come through the crease and just kind of smooth and soften these colors together. So another thing that I picked up recently when I was um, shopping through Sephora was the Stila Glitter on the Go. This is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. And they're basically the ever so popular liquid eyeshadows just in a smaller size in a travel set. And you get three different colors, Rose Gold Retro, Kitten Karma, and Smoldering Satin. So I love this and actually I've never tried these liquid eyeshadows even though I've seen them all over the place. I wasn't too sure if it was going to be for me but I love the idea of this set because for the price point I figured I can try three different kinds and really determine whether or not this is for me. So before we put this um, glitter shadow on I actually want to go in now and let's see. Let's do a Spectrum A16 and I'm gonna get a little bit of Fix Plus on this brush. And I actually wanna pick up this really pretty color um, Angelic from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. And I wanna start packing that onto my lid space. I'm gonna start with the inside corner and work my way into the center of the lid and try to keep the outside of my lid still smoky and dark. I'm actually gonna use my finger just to press a little bit more into the center of my lid. And on the outside corner, I'm gonna take a pop of Turkish Delight, which is a really creamy, beautiful color, and just add a little bit hint of a red to the outside corner here. Now let's try this kitten color Using Kitten Karma, I'm gonna take this and apply this onto the front portion of my lid. Just for an extra pop of glitter. 
Ooh, yeah. I think it mixes with the gold and the pink and it just makes a really pretty color. So let's actually give that a minute because it does feel a little sticky. So I'm gonna close my eyes and just kind of fan it a little bit. That's really pretty, you guys. All right, now working on the lower lash line, I'm gonna take an E30 from Sigma and take a little bit of that Oud color and saffron and kind of work them together on this brush. And starting from the outside corner, I'm just going to pull this in towards the inside corner. And then at the very end, I wanna kind of work it up like I normally do right into my crease. Just kind of flick it up. Now using a small bullet brush, I'm gonna mix the colors Blazing and Eden together. And I'm gonna start from the inside and work my way out. And that's gonna really help to brighten underneath the lower lash line. All right, so now I want to kind of dust away the bake but also finish a little bit. So I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and this BH brush and just kind of work this underneath my eye, making sure that all of that bake is gone and blended out. The, what, the portion I put on my jawline feels like it's completely gone already. It's unbelievable. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Bronzer and just bronze my cheeks up a bit. I'm missing you. I thought that from this heartache I could escape. Now we're gonna go in with my Revolution Pro Highlight Contour Palette and we're gonna start our contour. And today I'm officially missing you. Okay, so I actually received a sample of this Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and this is in the color Exposed. And it's basically just a little cardboard piece with a film over it. And I guess the object is to take off the film and then whatever is underneath is a powder. Okay, so it's a little bubble gummy, this blush, but I'm gonna take it and mix it with um, Maybelline Fit Me Nude, which has a little bit of a violet undertone, and I think it'll help to kind of give this blush just a little bit more oomph. But I wanna kind of offset the warmth, so I thought, oh, let's do something kind of like warm pink instead of so much peach and orange. Hi everyone, I got Cappy. <laughs> All right, so contour is on, blush, bronzer, and for eyes, I wanna finish them off today with um, some Ardell Black Wispies. These are the 600 lashes. But before we do that, I wanna curl my lash and put a little bit of mascara on. So let's go ahead and do that. For mascara today, I'm gonna to use Lash Paradise Voluminous from L'Oreal, and this is in waterproof black. Really quickly before we apply these, I'm gonna go off camera and put on some brows. Be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting Duo Lash Adhesive onto these babies. And I'm trying to use a brush to coat it. Okay, so my lashes are on, and now I just wanna make sure that any of the bake that was on my jawline is gone. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and just go in and make sure that everything is nice and blended. Now for lips, I wanna go ahead and neutralize my lips. So I'm gonna take a little concealer, put that on first. Okay. 
I can smell the Huda Beauty like foundation and powder while it's on my face and I love that but I just want to point that out because if you don't like that then that's probably something that's gonna bother you so just putting it out there um, really quickly I want to go in with this Clinique lash power flutter full mascara just to kind of combine my lashes with the falsies yes and I'm extra so that's why I'm doing it okay so for oh my gosh is my eye I feel like my eyes running okay I think it is hold on let me adjust myself here guys this is the problem with being extra is like you go too hard sometimes and then you just gotta like take it back take it back. I want to finish off with some lipstick. So for that, I'm going to use um, Retro Matte Lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. This is the color Bronx, and I am a Bronx girl. I was born and raised, so I figured this would be a perfect kind of like nudish brown plummy tone, and I'm going to actually warm it up just a little bit using Laura Mercier's Red Chocolate um, Lip Liner. So let's go ahead and do that. Fish Let's go in with lipstick. So this lip combination is everything, you guys. And yes, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is not for the summer at heart, you guys. This is probably more of your fall and winter look, but I love, love these colors together. So let's go ahead and use some Fix Plus to set and reset our makeup. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Like I said, it is not for the faint at heart. <laughs> it is not for the tropical summer lovers. This is just super glam, super over the top, super extra, because you guys know how I like to do it. Um, very Bronx, okay? I am like living for this lip color, you guys. Now, back to the moment of truth, the Huda Beauty Baking Powder. This is, again, Cupcake. So I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to pull up my mirror here, and I really love the finish of it. It's super weightless. It blended right into the rest of my makeup. I did set with a little Charlotte Tilbury, but I just tend to do that out of habit because I really truly love to set my makeup, especially if I have an all day thing, if I have an event, um, if I know I'm going to be out in heat like this and I still want to look really glamorous, I will double, triple set. So, um, I want to wear it see how it goes. I'm also going to do a flash picture and see how that comes out and just see kind of where the foundation and the baking powder go throughout the day and I will check in because I've been enjoying doing that. Hopefully you guys like that too so you can see the wear and see it in different lighting but I'm going to do a check back with you guys and um, yeah so far so good but I will. Okay guys so I have had the combination powder foundation Huda Beauty on my face now for a few hours hours and it feels incredible. Um, I love the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. The only thing I notice is that throughout the day it really does um, kind of thicken almost like on the skin. It's hard to explain it but it's like so much coverage and so much pigment that as the day progresses it can feel a little bit thick on the skin but the powder has completely absorbed that. It is feather light I have a little glow and shine in the places that I applied it, but other than that, I don't feel super oily, slick. It is a low humidity day in the south, so that could be helping, but so far, about three and a half hours in, and I really love it. Okay, guys, I am checking in, final check-in. It has been probably about six hours. Um, sometimes I go and do like the full like eight, nine hour, but honestly, most foundation around eight to 10 hours starts to break apart, and it doesn't matter if I buy like Lancome, Huda Beauty, or if I buy Maybelline Fit Me. It's just the way it goes, but... I want to update you guys. Let's see here. Let me get my lighting. So, um, you can see, you guys can see I have imperfections. I get the little collecting here from the powder and my wrinkles. But overall, 
I really, really love this combination, and you can tell that this powder was designed for this foundation because the biggest problem I have with my Huda foundation, the faux filter, is not being able to get the combo right with the powders. This is a perfect, perfect sister to the foundation. Smells amazing, feels amazing, still gives you glow and healthiness, so it still has that kind of like natural hydrating matte finish that the foundation has, but it's feather light, and I actually think it works better than a Laura Mercier powder. Sorry guys, <laughs> but I really, I'm really impressed. And like I said, we're on six hours and this lipstick has even lasted. I think I touched up once just after I ate, but incredible. So I'm going to bid you guys farewell and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope that you continue to come back and watch. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will link my social media down below and also the honorable mention products always. And until next time, I will see you guys really soon.